Today, I'm going to review the Hayes Dominion A4 brakes and let you know why they may be the best brake option for you. I'm gonna give you 10 reasons why they are so compelling and maybe five reasons why maybe you shouldn't buy them. Brakes are so important. I've been doing a lot of all mountain riding and e-bike riding, and it's really put a focus on this key component of the bike. It really changes the way you ride and how safe you ride. And I've gotten to try a lot of brakes, the best of the best, uh, and the Hayes Dominion recently in the last three, four months. So I have a lot to share about them. So I'm gonna give you 10 reasons why it's so good. The number one reason is the power, prodigious, power you know when you're talking all mountain bikes it's all about the power how much ultimate power clamping force do the pistons have on that rotor at the limit not as powerful as the SRAM mavens but wham, so powerful so how do they do it how they do it is with a very robust caliper it turns out the caliper is the most key component of this whole thing because it has at the limit you're flexing the caliper. And we as riders are very used to the caliper flex. That's why we like death squeeze that lever, right? To get that stopping, that ultimate stopping, you know, when you're at the steepest part of the hill, you're just flexing the caliper. One thing they did, it's present on the Mavens, is that big gap in the back where you could change your pads, it's not here. It's a little hole, so uh, you have to take off the, uh, the wheel to change your pads. And the reason they do that is that big gap gives it that flex. So little flex, a lot of material, and they say even that bolt that holds your pads is big with big supports to help in the flex management of the caliper. The other thing with the power is the piston size. Piston size is your, you know, it's like your, your engine block, so to speak. And this one is four 17 millimeter pistons. Uh, so it, is the, it was the king. The only thing better than it now is the SRAM Mavens uh, in terms of bigger piston size. The second key reason why these brakes are compelling is modulation. Modulation is control. Uh, when you're entering a corner, you know, you need to like, not really just get the ultimate power, but get the power you need and, and, and make sure that you're able to control that speed easily. Uh, you know, codes are, are pretty good, are, are famous for that. And, and a lot of people don't like Shimano's because they say they don't modulate. Well, I think a lot of it is at, at the pad contact how much movement do you have to get that power and these ones you know they're in between the the SRAMs and the Shimano's so very familiar but very usable so easy to modulate so easy to control these brakes number three reason and we're going to go in the order of importance in my view is the very consistent bite point so you know how whenever you 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 go to a bike the first thing you do is kind of press the levers and you can learn a lot about the bike and the brake, basically. And what you're looking for is, you know, you press the levers and then feel that bite point. Then you press it again. Where's the bite point? Where's the bite point? And these Hayes Dominion A4s are famous for their consistent bite point. You know, from first press to the fifth press to one year later, you press them. You're like, damn, it's right there. That is key to controlling your bike. You know, if it, the thing is a wandering bite point, even the Mavens have this issue right now. And Shimano, as good as they are, has a wandering bite point, depending on temperature and whatnot. These are so consistent and that's how you control it. And how do they do it? They do it with obviously good porting, good engineering. But the other thing they did I noticed is the, the cable is bigger. The cable is like, you know, a quarter of a millimeter bigger than than uh, other cables. And why is that? It's because they wrapped it in Kevlar. You know, at the limit, you know, the, the, the cable expands because there's so much pressure in them. And so what they said, it goes, no, we're gonna control that cable. And that's even more important on the rear brake. That's why a lot of brakes are inconsistent between the front and the rear because of the length of the cable. And this kind of nullifies that length by giving you a cable that is so robust to expansion. The number four reason why these things are so good is because of the light action. Light action means how much force does it take to actuate the lever uh, and get it through the dead stroke. So this is really light. 
they worked on this hard. The mavens are, are, are crazy stiff. So, and I did a test. What I did is I put a weight, I put it upside down, I put a weight on it, and it goes, how much force does it take to actuate this lever? And these were the lightest by far. 170 gra 73 grams to get it going, and about 300 to get it to the contact point. So, and some of them were like seven, Mavens are 700. Uh, I had another br uh, break that was like 900 grams. And this, this is not everything. You know, this is just your dead stroke. But, you know, the more you actuate the levers, the more you, uh, the more it affects you. And if you hold your levers, you know, on a very steep descent, you, you're fighting that. So 173 is a lot less than like 900 grams. So really cool. The other thing, uh, related to this is the length of the dead stroke. How much do you have to hold it to get to the bite point? And Hayes Dominions are really famous for having a very small dead stroke. They really worked on the engineering. They put a little port in there to get it close as soon as possible. And I don't think they do it with any servo cam waves or anything. Uh, just good design with the porting. So small dead stroke, light action. Okay, number five reason is there's good pad spacing. These things, like Shimano's, they don't really drag your rotor. They, after, after installation, they get the space right. As long as your rotor's straight, it's not going to touch. So you don't need the long braking period. You know, some folks on other brakes go, oh, you need five rides. And I'm like, dang, that's a lot of rides. Uh, you know, just to get good brakes. And, and so this one, it spaces right away, and then it's dead quiet. All right, number six reason is I think it has the best in class lever reach adjustment. Lever reach is very important. Uh, a lot, some people have tools and whatnot, so you don't want tools because this is kind of important. Uh, and it's right there, and it's right there. It's not a knob that can, can break or whatnot, and you can even do one hand maybe, um, or one finger. So very cool, and they also have a bite point adjust. A little Allen screw there. I don't think you need that as much if you have great brakes. You know, on my SRAM codes, I always use it because they're always wandering. When your bite point always wanders, you need that. These ones, you don't really need it on a good bleed, uh, but if you need it, it's there. Okay, the number seven reason, and it's low on the list, is actually important to a lot of people, is the price. The price is really good. 250 bucks uh, aside for these brakes. A lot of these brakes are 300, and some are 350. Like, and they, do, they don't come with rotors. So you're, you're, you're getting up there, close to 1,000 very quickly. So 250 uh, is a good price. And uh, they even comes with a, an extra set. It comes with organic pads. It comes with a set of metallic pads or centered pads. And those are normally $40. So you're, you're looking like 210 really, before it even goes on sale, right? All right, number eight reason is there's options. So these are A4s, meaning four piston. They also have the A2, which are two piston. So you can mix and match. You know, if you don't want to mix, uh, have, have different rotor sizes, maybe have a four piston on the front and two piston on the rear because the front really carries the majority of, of the braking force. Uh, and if these are too much for you, then go for the, you know, the, the A2s. They also have a tricked out version, the T2 with carbon, and that one is, uh, I think, similar ergonomics to this one. So the number nine reason is there are extras. And a lot of people always claim the extras in the beginning. I go, that's not important, you know, brake first. Uh, but the extras are cool. Uh, and the, the extras are, it has, two bleed ports on the caliper, you know, one on each side. So in case it's a difficult bleed, you could just, you could just uh, bleed on each side or you could do just a caliper bleed. Now to me, <laughs> I don't know if this makes sense. I don't think I'm gonna do it. You know, you either have a good bleed system or you don't. Two, two back there, I don't know, but some people might like the option. The other thing is they have these crosshair adjustments where you could, there's grub screws on the caliper so you can lock them in place on the on the mounts you know so you can find your spot easier uh oh that's very handy so what they say is you can adjust your pads uh with a micro adjust with a micro tune really easily all right and the number 10 reason is it's a really well crafted piece of equipment that is going to last you it's going to be durable and dependable there's already three years of experience on this and no one is complaining about the durability you know these cables are so robust uh the the bearings on the levers are so good look at that it's so light action um you know two years later it still feels that way so a really good dependable piece of equipment uh 
but it's not all a bed of roses. You know, not everything is perfect. Uh, I'm going to give you five reasons why this brake might not be for you. Number one reason is it's not a looker. You know, it's not like trick stuff or those new Lewis brakes, the Magura with the fancy levers. It looks kind of strange. Uh, big, big piston right here and bronze. You know, so it doesn't match a lot of brakes and the, uh, this is kind of shiny. Uh, so in the caliper, it's, it's just bronze. So not a lot of color options. So not quite there in the looks department. Number two reason why this might not be for you is there's no 220 rotor from Hayes. Uh, they go to 200, 203 is the maximum and no 220 and no center lock as well. Mind you, you could get, you could always use a, a rotor from another manufacturer, but it's always good to stick to the same brand where it's designed for each other. Third reason is the brake pads are kind of expensive. $40 for two, uh, that's kind of a lot. And the kind of the standard these days is 20 to $25. Luckily they give you an extra set, albeit centered on uh, when you purchase these brakes. All right, down to the wire. Number four reason not to get this is the pads are not as easily serviceable, meaning you can't just change pads from the back. You have to take the wheel off. So, you know, a little bit of inconvenience there. And the last reason why maybe you don't want to get this is it uses dot 5.1 fluid. There's a big shift to mineral oil these days because the performance is about the same. Uh, and that five is harmful to, envir to the environment, your skin, the paint. And uh, so you have to be more careful with it. And it's also harder on the seals. So usually the service intervals are more frequent than mineral oil. But there you go. Uh, Hayes Dominion A4. It's so hard to find. None of my friends have it. Uh, and, and it's an undiscovered gem. So if you're interested in these, you got to get their bleed kit and, um, and follow their instructions. But man, what a delight. You could use it on your XC, your trail, your, uh, your, your e-bike, depending on, on how many pistons you want. But man, 250, we will have links in the description. Again, this is EMTB review. I'm gonna have a lot more uh, brake reviews and e-bike reviews and equipment reviews. So subscribe to the channel and buy through the links and it will help our channel out. Thanks a ton.